Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own and then resume the video. So in this problem, an animal shelter spends $2.35 uh, per day uh, to care for each cat and $5.50 per day to care for each dog. Pat knows that the shelter spent $89.50 caring for cats and dogs on Wednesday. Okay, so what does that tell us? That tells us that if that here we have a unit rate for cats, two dollars and thirty-five cents per cat, and five fifty for dogs, and in total they they spent eighty-nine fifty. And they say write an equation to represent the possible number of cats and dogs that could have been in the shelter on Wednesday. So let's say C is for cats and D is for dogs. Every cat, let's say there's one cat. Well, eat one cat would be two thirty-five. Two cats would be two times two thirty-five, and three cats would be three times two thirty-five, and so forth. So we multiply those two numbers. Dogs. Well, it's five dollars and fifty cents per dog. If we add this cost of both cats and dogs, we know we get eighty-nine fifty on Wednesday. Then Pat said there might have been eight cats and fourteen dogs at the shelter. Are these numbers possible? Use your equations to justify your answer. So here, I'll do this part here. So two thirty-five. We'll use our equation times eight number of cats plus five fifty times fourteen dogs. Um, we want to see, does that actually equal 8 to 850? So we do the multiplication to justify it. 235 times 8 is $18.80 plus 5.5 times 14, 77. Oops, we need another plus sign there, we need an equal sign. Does that equal 89.50? Let's see. I don't think so, right? You can see 80 cents right there. Something's problematic. 77 plus 18.8 is $95.85. And you could say in your explanation, 95.80 does not equal 89.50. So he can't be correct because it doesn't give you the total, the correct total amount. Then what's next? Later, Pat found a record showing there were 22 cats and dogs. Um, so how many... Okay, so 22 cats and dogs at the shelter in total between them uh, on Wednesday. So how many cats were at the shelter on Wednesday? Okay, so this is a system of equations problem, even though they don't say it. That's the way I would deal with this. Uh, there's lots of ways to solve it, but think about it. They're saying that if you take cats and you add them to the number of dogs, you get 22, right? And they're also... Well, we also said that 235 times the number of cats plus 550 times the number of dogs equals 89.50, right? That's what we're given. So we have these two equations, a system, and we can solve for cats and dogs this way. So to set this up so I can eliminate, I'm going to scale up everything in our first equation. I could scale down everything in our second equation, but the coefficients of 1 and 1 are much easier to work with here. Um, so I'm going to scale everything up so that I can eliminate either C or D uh, from the sum of these two equations. So I'll multiply everything by negative 5 and a half. So you get negative 5 and a half times 1 cat, or 1 C is just negative 5.5 C, plus negative 5.5 D equals negative, don't forget that negative sign, distribute 121, otherwise this won't work. So I just scale everything up by negative 5 and a half. Now watch what happens if I do that. Now watch what happens if I do that. I leave my second equation alone, I'm just rewriting it. Now when I add the equations, you can always add or subtract equations, um, this variable eliminates, right? These cancel out. So that means we can solve for C. So 235 minus 5.5, 235 minus 5.5 is negative 3.15. It's okay, we don't have negative cats. Um, because here we have a negative sum as well. Negative 121, negative signs down here, plus 89.5 gives you negative 31.5. Now you can see that if you divide both sides by negative 3.15, we get 10. Let's just test it. If we divide negative 31.5 by negative 3.15, we get 10. So that means there were 10 cats uh, on that day. And since the cats plus the dogs is 22, there are also 12 dogs. Now, you could have multiplied everything by negative 2.35 and then added to cancel. That would have been one way to do it. You could have subtracted D over here and then substituted C equals 22 minus D 
um, into this equation here and solved it. Uh, you could have said d equals 22 minus c and then substituted it, or even thought of other ways. There's lots of ways to solve it. But I think this one might be the fastest because they're asking for the number of cats. So we canceled out the, the d variable and solved for c directly. Right? Uh, if you'd solve for dogs first by canceling out the cat variable, in other words, multiplying everything by negative 2.35, you have to go that one little extra step at the end to find the dogs. But either way, this works. So 10 cats, 12 dogs. All right, I hope that helped.